Hi, this is Kevin Deal from Upscale Audio, and today we're going to talk about screwing the rich man. Redistribution of wealth. Forget these dot-com guys and all these big daddy warbucks guys. Forget it. I'm about getting super high-end audio to people that are real. And I hope that you're real. And I hope that you're interested in these. These are the Wharfdale Lintons. I've sold Wharfdale speakers. Oh, my God. Back in the day when I was wearing platform shoes and I had long hair that I just flicked back and forth, I was selling the old Wharfdale E-Series, and I had so much fun with the E-90s and the E-70s. I mean, they were just really, really cool because they were fun and they were dynamic, and they were like moderately efficient. The cool thing I liked about them was you didn't seem to have to turn them up that much to get them to breathe, and so it is with the Linton. The Linton is a reissue of a his very, very historic speaker, and Wharfdale is a company that is steeped in tradition. So what makes the speaker so special? Okay, first off, stand mount speakers are wonderful because there's less box, so they can have a tendency to disappear the way big floor standing speakers do not. The downside is they don't have any bass because they don't have cabinet volume and they don't have big drivers. This is a perfect combination of a stand mount that actually has some great bottom end. It has an eight inch woofer supplemented by two bass ports in the back. And it's got nice cabinet volume, so it's got some good punch. And the cool thing about this speaker is it's got that kind of bass that I like, you know, where it's got a little bit of a follow through to it and a little bit of a feel. This bass driver, by the way, if you feel it, it's a beautiful rubber edge surround and it's made of Kevlar. I mean, and it feels good. I've seen some speakers, I'm not going to name this Italian brand, but they had a Kevlar-ish looking speaker, Kevlar-ish. Uh, we would call it a Kevlar clone, I think. And it was kind of funny because I remember back when I was selling and I had to stop selling, I remember pushing on the cones because it looked like it was woven. But when I pushed, the cones just like flex. I go, oh man, this is really weak. That's not the case here. This is a, a cone that feels very, very light. But it's very, very stiff so it doesn't break up. And that's really, really important, you know, so you don't get, you know, distortion in the bottom end. It's a five inch mid-range driver. Hallelujah, brother, five inch mid-range. That means it's not too small. That's how you end up getting that mid-range that doesn't have any bottom to it, that doesn't have any body. You know, I dig Neil Young's acoustic stuff. I dig, uh, oh my God, if you haven't been listening, to, you've heard me talk about this ad infinitum, but the Johnny Cash American recordings, and you get that sense of his chestiness, you know, and that's what the speaker will do. And then it's a one inch dome mid-range, which I'd like to point out, by the way, is behind a grill. So if you have any children and you wanna be able to take the grills off and have something that looks, looks really cool, you can do that without, kids have a tendency, I've been doing this for a living for 42 years. You gotta keep an eye on the kids because they think that this is a toy and they're gonna push in on the button. And if they do that to a tweeter, it's gonna damage it. But this one has a grill over, over the tweeter. These are 90 dB efficient. Minimum 3.6 ohm impedance. If you have a tube amplifier that has a 4 ohm speaker tap and an 8 ohm speaker tap, you'll probably use the 4 ohm tap. But you should always listen to either, that's the thing, I gotta tell people, when you hook up speakers to a tube amp, you don't look at what the speaker says and go, oh, this is an 8-ohm speaker, put it on the 8-ohm tap. You gotta experiment and use the tap that sounds best. And so it is here. But I'm gonna suspect you're gonna put it on a 4-ohm speaker tap. 90 dB efficient means, hell yeah, you can use it with a moderate power tube amp, like a Prima Luna. 36 watts, and it's gonna absolutely rock your world. The cabinet, let's talk about that. It weighs over 40 pounds. That's what I'm talking about. Boom, boom. Nice, dense, heavy cabinet. Doesn't have a lot of resonance to it that I could feel when I was cranking it up. And uh, it's a real mahogany veneer or real walnut. The mahogany is super, super popular. It's super, super hot, but I gotta tell you, I'm old school. I'm a very old guy, and I just think about those old walnut speakers back in the 70s when I was growing up, and so I guess when I look at the walnut, it makes me feel like I'm young again. I don't know. 
I feel like getting a girl and getting some quaaludes and just partying on. Look, $1,198, beautiful, beautiful speaker. $300 for the stand, so $1,498 for the pair. Boom. This is really, I mean, I'm, we're selling the bejesus out of it. I mean, it's like boom, boom, boom. It's a really great deal, and that's what I love, being a champion of people getting something that is worth their money. What kind of amps would you use in it? I brought out a, first of all, if you get a, a, an amp from us too, we always have a very nice package pricing that we do uh, when you buy a system from us, so keep that in mind. But I had a few things I wanted to point out to you. One of them is, at the most reasonable price point, the Musical Fidelity M2 SI, $599. Beautiful solid state amp that's got some real balls to it. This was a special purchase that we made. We bought all of them in order to sell them at that price. And I only make like 50 bucks each on them, but I don't care, man. I saw an opportunity to sell these for $599 delivered to you, and I said, boom, let's do it and help people out. The next step up from the Musical Fidelity, which is, by the way, badass, is the Vincent SV500. Also a very cool app. This one is a hybrid, so it's got a tube front end. And like the Musical Fidelity, it has a toroidal power transformer. So here we are in Hybridsville, $9.99. And then this is the darling of everything. Mm. This is my favorite stuff, Prima Luna. And I'm just telling you right now, I would take this uh, over, and, and you know, this is $22.99, and I would take this over a $50,000 stack of solid state, and that's no bullshit. This is uh, 36 watts per channel, and if you've never owned a tube amp, please, you have to do that before you leave this planet, because it's gonna change everything that you think you know about uh, communicating with music, if you've not had one already. These are a few amps that I can suggest, but I have many, many more that we can do. But you got to make sure that you put more money into speakers than you do in electronics. Man, I'm telling you, I've seen so many guys come in here buying ridiculous electronics, but keeping uh, their cheaper speakers. I'm like, man, who is advising you on this? Don't do that. Get really good electronics, but don't overspend on it because this is where the rubber meets the road. If you buy $300 speakers and $10,000 in electronics, it's a $300 system. Remember that. But that's what happens when you go to a place that works on commission. We don't work on commission. So I want you to know something. We guarantee the best price. We have 12 month no interest financing. Nobody here works on commission. And we give you package pricing. We'll put together a beautiful, beautiful system for you. I promise you so much. Come to our beautiful 10,000 square foot store and we will treat your system like it's ours. Thanks.